Hello and welcome to News You Can Use, the show where I run for the most positive, inspirational and interesting news stories of the past week. And on this week's show, self-proclaimed turban enthusiast Bupinder Singh shows off his immense turban skills. Eccentric American David Goldberg shows us more than two uses for your toilet. And in San Diego Zoo, two rare giant pandas are doing it like they do on the Discovery Channel. But first, here's your inspirational fix from a woman who simply knows no boundaries. Living with a disability in any form can be very disheartening for someone, as even the simplest tasks that we take for granted can prove rather difficult. Jessica Cox is clearly having none of that though, as not only is she a fully licensed pilot that flies planes using her feet, but she is also the first person without arms to earn a black belt in ATA martial arts. AKA, you certainly don't want to run into her in a dark alley at night. She's a big believer in mind over matter, has a degree in psychology, and has traveled to 20 countries on six different continents, sharing her inspirational message everywhere she goes. Well, if you ever need a proof you can do whatever you set your mind to, there it is. If you're like me and you're always swearing to yourself that when you get old, you're gonna be one of those fit old people who can still run, jump, and stay active, and you're gonna love this guy. Charles Eugster has not only gotten fit in old age, he has become nearly ripped despite being 95 years old. 95 years old? At 95 years old, I'd expect to see him sitting in a bingo hall or slumped in an armchair watching black and white westerns. But no, not Charles. He has some other ideas. Namely, hiring a former Mr. Universe to whip his aging frame into the buff and shiny body you see before you. Running, swimming, and lifting his way to making some major gains, Charles has big aspirations and preaches his message that it's never too late to get that beach spot. He even delivered a rousing speech of his life story in a TED talk to a theatre full of applause. So I guess you have no excuse. If Charles can turn it round at 95 years old, the question is, what are you waiting for? Get down to the gym and get that membership booked. Now, on your marks, get set, go! What you're witnessing here is Bupinder Singh showcasing his tremendous speed turban tying skills. Bupinder is a very proud Sikh that is somewhat of a local celebrity in the Indian state of Punjab. He expresses his love for his faith by regularly completing impressive feats of skill and courage that he brands no big deal. He goes by many monikers, the Turban Teacher, the Turban Turbinator, the Turbinator, Sing Diesel, and with daring stunts like these, it's pretty safe to say he's earned all those nicknames. He isn't just selfish with his skills though, as he also runs a turban tying academy in his hometown and also travels internationally to assist people at weddings, schools and fashion events. He really is the turban master. He even challenged Lady Gaga to don the traditional Sikh garb. So if you're watching Lady Gaga, mm, let's make that happen. There are times when the phrase, only in America, couldn't be more perfect. After all, here in the UK, when it snows even an inch, we're praying that work or school is closed for the day. But not David Goldberg. David has come up with an ingenious way to waste away those long, cold hours in winter, building himself a motorized toilet snowplow. Now you can do a number one and a number two whilst clearing snow and making your way to work. And I'm sure all the citizens of Bethesda, where David lives, are thrilled with his snow clearing efforts as everyone obviously loves going to work on snow days. He named his invention the Heads Up Lucy. An obvious pun on the name Lucy. Well, let's just hope it's fast enough to outrun all those workers who thought they had a day off. Otherwise, David might end up with his head up the loop. See. <laughs> In San Diego Zoo, it's mating season, and two rare pandas are finally getting the alone time they've been waiting for. Oh yeah. And it's been a very, very long wait. The gate separating their habitats was lifted, and the pandas got access to each other in their first breeding attempt since 2012. That's a hell of a long time to go without getting there. Right <laughs> and that panda on top looks right up for it. There they go, off to the secluded area to get down and dirty. 
without the cameras watching? And is it just me, or does this woman seem a little bit obsessed with seeing the pandas get down with each other? We want to see between the two bears interest in each other. Uh, we want to see Bayoun, the female, presenting her tail end. She's in a good position that the bear can, the male bear, Gao Gao, can approach from. We, we want to see the female shaved, no hair down there, and and we want to see some honey drizzled over her too, and and some bamboo too. So Don't forget about the bamboo. You lying here next to me. Yeah. The results of the mating session won't be known until summer, but fingers crossed we'll be seeing this species on the rise. And to close out, we're catching up with a very talented Indian man who I must say makes me very, very jealous. Bhargav Narasaman set a new world record for solving five consecutive Rubik's Cubes with one hand. He clocked in at a time of 1 minute and 23 seconds, smashing the previous record of 1 minute 52 seconds. He holds more than 40 national records and two Asian records for solving Rubik's Cubes single handedly. Yep. He's one of those guys. Speed cubing has become a very popular global sport and guys like Bargav really do seem to have some kind of matrix level vision unlike most mere mortals. Having participated in the World Cube Association competition, Narasiman is now eyeing up more records in the future. Best of luck to him. Well, that's it for this week guys, but if you've got any good news stories you want to share, get in touch, because we want to hear from you. All you got to do is drop us a message on any of the links on screen right now and we'll be in contact. Similarly, if you want to catch up with any of the news stories I mentioned in this video in full detail, head on over to newcivity.com and you can catch it in all its glorious detail. So until next time guys, I've been Seb Stewart and peace.